John Diaz is in Lower Manhattan outside of the courthouse where Trump is expected to turn himself in on Tuesday. He's got more on what to expect tomorrow as history continues to unfold right before our eyes. John? Yeah, well, Chris and Natalie, good morning to both of you. And Trump's lawyer is saying that he wants to make tomorrow's appearance as quick as a possible. He says that he believes the case is not even, quote, legally sufficient. He called it a joke, and he says that this just will not survive the courtroom. Well, I've done a million arraignments in that courthouse um, with, with celebrities and whatnot, but this is a whole different thing. Ahead of tomorrow's arraignment, the lawyer of former President Donald Trump appeared on ABC this week, vowing an aggressive legal strategy and says they will plead not guilty. He's gearing up for a, a battle. Um, you know, this is something that obviously we believe is a political persecution. We are told it's likely some rooms or the whole courthouse will be shut down on Tuesday. Sources say the NYPD and the U.S. Secret Service have already choreographed the court appearance. The entire time, Trump will be surrounded by agents. The former president will not be handcuffed, but will be processed as a criminal defendant before walking down a 15th floor hallway for arraignment. He will be given a booking number. At the time that he receives that booking number, he is officially, quote unquote, under arrest. Trump is the first former U.S. president to face criminal charges, which are still under seal. But sources tell CBS News Mr. Trump is being charged with falsifying business records in the first degree, a felony stemming from alleged hush money paid to adult film star Stormy Daniels through former Trump attorney Michael Cohen. This is solely about accountability. I should not be held accountable for Donald Trump's dirty deeds. Let him be held accountable. In an interview with CBS News this weekend, Cohen said he's prepared to testify. Yes, I lied to Congress at the direction of, in coordination with, and for the benefit of Donald J. Trump. And if there's anyone out there that thinks that that lie is going to prevent me from being the credible witness that I am, based on the documentation, the testimony, the emails, the recording, it's not going to happen. Now, the former president is facing up to 34 counts. The NYPD says that officers right now, they are on alert just in case any protests were to pop up. And we are told that a security plan around the courthouse and in the courthouse, well, that is already in effect, and it has been in effect since Friday of last week. But for now, we are live this morning from Lower Manhattan. John Diaz, CBS 2 News. All right, John, thank you. And stay with CBS2 as more details come in about the Trump indictment. We'll be tracking the latest developments as he travels to New York, and we'll bring you all the latest information on air and online at CBSNewYork.com.